Hey, I hope we are uh, all okay. Uh, today, basically, I want us to have a discussion about uh, ETIMS. ETIMS is one of uh, the most powerful uh, system that uh, I think so far Kenya Revenue Authority has given to its taxpayers. Number one is very uh, convenient, is uh, quite effective. Also, you'll find that uh, it's very flexible. It's not like ETR, meaning that if you're having an ETIMS, a caution will be. If you do have an ATIMS, will you need an ETR? Or if you have an ATR, is it a must for you to have an ATIMS? You'll find that ATIMS will basically work for your convenience. As much as you can be having an ATR, as well as the same time you might be having uh, ATIMS, they can work both. But advisable, you find that if you're having ATIMS, no need of ETR. Because whatever that ETR does, the same thing, ATIMS will do. The beauty part of it is that uh, ATIMS is literally uh, basically. Uh, kind of uh, it is an online it is an online uh, platform system so these are how what you're going to do let us start first of all by understanding ATIMS on the KRA portal you just come to ATIMS that is on their site you just come to basically ATIMS understanding uh, what uh, ATIMS is and uh, basically what uh, it can uh, do these are what uh, we are having here plus all the integration where ETIMS can be used. Basically, all this is uh, basically the guidelines which you can get on uh, the KRA portal. All these are the guidelines which you can get on the KRA portal. So, I'll mostly be interested with, uh, first of all, you must be having the system, which is ETIMS paper. It can either be on your phone, it can either be on uh, PC, it can be that you are uh, your, uh, of course, uh, KD, you can literally have it so long as it is an electronic uh, component which you can access. So, even before you download, you must register first. And how will you do your registration? This is how you're supposed to do your registration. So, you just come to the ETIMS uh, portal. On the ETIMS uh, taxpayer portal, these are what I'm having. So, the next step that uh, you basically need to do sign up as a new person. So this will pop up or just So at this point, uh, for you to sign up uh, clearly is an area that you need to to fill in and verify. And if at all your pin is not registered for now under VAT, you find that basically you can pin. Say for example, maybe you can have this individual pin. If you verify, you'll find that there's no taxpayer information because simply I'm not registered. I'm not registered basically. So basically this won't give me an item. But if you are, uh, this pin is not registered, if, if at all uh, your pin was uh, registered, if you verify, you'll find that it will give us all the details here. All the details. Whatever that you require now to insert here is only what? It's only the aspect you do with uh, your pin. The pin that you will be literally using to access to access uh, the portal. But before that, you find that you have to confirm using uh, the OTP. This will literally be shared on the phone number that is registered on that iTrans account. But many a times you'll find that a lot of taxpayers will not get the OTP simply because you might have blocked your phone for receiving basically what you normally tell them as a part SMS. So for you to avoid that, what you can do basically for the purpose of this so you can literally unlock that. How do you unlock? By just doing uh, that is a star 456. You have a star 9 star, 5 star, 5 star. Then you do one hash. You see if I do this on my what you are literally unlock is uh, that spam messages. So what you, for you to receive uh, this OTP. So once you've received your OTP, of course you can go and sign up. Once you've signed up, you need to come back here and download this commitment form. You see on uh, your ATIMS area on tax portal, or rather on uh, your KRA website, you can come and basically download what this form here. 
these are forms that will be required to fill. You'll be required to fill this form because this is uh, what you'll also be required to do or to upload. You'll be required to upload to upload this form. So once you're done with uh, all these uh, procedures of downloading, filling in the form, you can come back to uh, our portal. You can come back to our portal and down there you literally see where you're supposed to do it, where you're supposed to basically upload all this uh, content. So this is what we are going to do. Let us go to uh, the main ETF. So once you're through with uh, all this procedure, filling in, uh, basically getting the OTP, so literally you can come and uh, just uh, sign in. So I'll just be having, of course, my ETFs here. Basically, it will take me to this place. So, in this place, basically, of course, you're going to fill in uh, the password that you inserted. Remember on registration, as well as uh, you see the password that you had inserted here. The same password that uh, you are going to basically have it here. The pin password, then you then you log in. So, once you've uh, logged in, once you log in. You'll find that uh, because my account, I've already done several transactions, that's why you can clearly see the post, which basically I'm going to log on this post later on in the next video. But I don't want to show you how literally you can now get the aspect of what, how you can get application in your, in your laptop. So this is what you're supposed to do go to our first uh, page that is of course uh, KRA then on KRA you come to ethics on ethics literally you can just scroll down as you familiarize yourself with uh, all these items so you can just scroll down uh, my area of interest is on this point You can either use ETIPS in uh, your laptop or a PC. You can either use ETIPS basically in, uh, on your phone, Android, or uh, at all. If at all you're having various or multiple stores, you can go with the first one for Windows. So in this case, assuming you are having uh, one machine, or that is one machine is one uh, which will be used literally to do these transactions. So you just come in go to ETIPS PayPoint for Windows. You just click, it will uh, show the aspect of uh, download once it has been, once you've been able to download the same. So once it has downloaded, I can literally come and find mine here on download. Yeah, so what I can literally do just pin the branch code of course you are going to get on the sms text that you're going to receive while you're signing up plus the serial number of your laptop or specific serial number of your phone or if it is a pc that you're using so that is what you're going to fill in the details there 
So after that, you select the area that you are in. Majority go with the general store. Then after that case, you just initialize. Mine will show I need to enter this value. So once you have initialized, it will take you then to the next page. And this is where I want us to. These are the most interesting part. I want us to.